So hey everyone, welcome back to my new video. And in this video, we are going to make intro like MKBHD, using a light motion app, and it's super easy to make it. So let's start the video. Open a light motion app, and create a new project. First we will create the animated background. For that click on plus icon, and add circle shape. Then we go to move and transform, click on scale option and decrease circle size to 47 px. Just like this. Then we go to color and fill option. And here we change the circle color to white. After that we will go to around 3 seconds 15 frames. And trim this layer from right side. Now we will go to effects. And we add tiles effect. To make more circle inside the composition. And here we change the crop value to 0.090, to make the circle small. Then we add turbulent displace effect, to make the wave effect. Here first we change the strength value to 0.025. Then we change the evolution mode to XY. And enable this screen space option. Then select evolution. And add keyframe at starting. Then we go to around 3 seconds and 15 frames, and add another keyframe. And increase evolution value to 1.20. And now if we preview this, we will get this cool wave animation. Also we click on this 3 dots, and copy this effect. After that we will go back, and add rectangle shape. Then we click on three dots, and here we select stretch to composition area, to make it full screen. Then we'll go to 3 seconds 15 frames. And also trim this layer from right side. After that we go to effects, and we add turbulence effect. Here we change the scale value to 1.36. Then select stretch, and change X and Y value to 0.40. Increase intensity value to 1.50, and decrease bias value to minus 0.17. Then we go to starting. Select evolution and add keyframe. Then go to around 3 seconds 15 frames, and add keyframe. And increase evolution value to 3.00. After that click on this 3 dots, and paste the turbulent displace effect, which we copied before. Then we go to blending and opacity, and here we will change the blending mode to multiply. Now if we preview this animation, we will get this cool background animation. Now we select both the layers, and make a group layer. Then we add another rectangle shape for the background. Click on three dots, and select stretch to composition area, to make it full screen. Then we go to around 3 seconds and 20 frames. And trim this extra layer from right side. Then we go to color and fill option, here we will select black color. Then we click on this color plate, and increase middle slider to 8%, so that we get a nice dark gray color. Then we will move this background layer down, so that we can see the animation layer. Now we will create a mask to reveal the background animation. For that we will click on this plus icon, and we add circle shape. Then we go to move and transform. Click on scale, to animate this mask, add keyframe at starting. And change its size to 0. Then go to around 1 second, and add another keyframe. And here we will increase the shape size, until it's cover the whole composition. Just like this. Now to make this animation smooth, we will go to speed curve. And make curve like this. Then we click on this 3 dots, and copy this curve, so that we can use the same curve later. After that we will select both the layers, and move it one frame forward like this. And click on this masking group icon, 
To create a mask. Now we add round rectangle shape. Go to edit shape option, and here change the radius to 50. Then select size, and change X and Y value to 230. To get this nice round square shape. Then we will go to color and fill option, and here we select black color. Click on this color plate icon, and increase the middle slider to 8%, so that we get the same color as background. Then we go to around 3 seconds 15 frames, and trim this layer from right side. After that we will add shadow to differentiate the shape from background, for that we will go to effects, and we add long shadow effect. Here change size to 0.040 and change alpha value to 30% and change fade value to 100% to get this soft shadow. Now we go back and we make a duplicate layer. Then we select the below layer. We go to effects again Click on long shadow effect, and here we will change the shadow color. For that we will go to color option, and click on color plate icon. And here we increase the middle slider to 15% so that we get the gray color. Then change the angle value to 225 degree. And we will get this nice morphism look. Now we will add our logo. Click on plus icon, go to media, and add your logo. Now we will decrease logo size, for that we will go to move and transform option. Click on scale, and decrease logo size, so that it's get fit inside the square shape. Like this. Then we go to around 3 seconds 15 frames. And trim this layer from right side. Then we select both the squares and logo layer, and make a group layer. After that we will animate this group layer. For that we go to move and transform. Click on scale, then go to around 1 second, and add keyframe. After that we go back to starting, and add keyframe, and change its size to 0. Then we will go to speed curve, here we click on 3 dots and paste the curve, which we copied before. Now for out animation, we will go to around 2 seconds 15 frames and add keyframe. Then we go to around 3 seconds 15 frames, and add another keyframe. And again here we change its size to 0. Then go to speed curve, and make curve like this, to make this animation smooth. Then we go to around 3 seconds 15 frames, and trim this circle animation layer. Now we will go to 2 seconds 24 frames, and add new circle shape. Then we go to move and transform, and here increase its size a little bit, so that we see the shape properly. Then we go to effects, and add Gaussian blur. And increase its strength value to 0.400, because we don't want hard edges. We go to 3 seconds 20 frames, and trim this extra layer. Then again we go to move and transform. Click on scale and add keyframe at starting, and decrease its size to 0. Then we go to 3 seconds 15 frames, add keyframe, and increase circle size, until it's cover the whole composition. Like this. To make this animation more smooth, we will go to speed curve, and here we paste the curve which we copied before, and also click on this icon, to reverse this curve. Now we will change its color, for that we will go to color and fill, and here we select black color. Then click on this color plate icon, and here increase the middle slider to 8%, so that we get the same background color. Now our intro is ready. So let's go to starting and preview it. And it's looking awesome. I have used gray color in this intro, but you are free to use any other color if you want. If you are watching this video till now. Then don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Also if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I will see you in my next video, till then bye.